What up, it's Melvin7 here, Foot Freeze is here, as well as Icon Swaps 1. Uh, so first of all, we're going to get into this uh, Foot Freeze challenge, just to get it out of the way. Um, I have already pre-built, oh, well, I thought I had, I just need Jossaloo. Okay, right, it is actually coming up, nice, right. Uh, let's just buy him and then finish this off, right. So this is how I've done it, um... The 95 chemistry might be a bit annoying if you don't have stuff in the club like I didn't, so I had to buy a few of these things because I cleared my club out with all the upgrade packs. But anyhow, an untradeable 35k pack. I hate that it's untradeable, but uh, we all know what EA is like. It, it's not too bad. Um, well, it is because it's untradeable, but you know what I mean. EA just... or EA. Anyhow, Marquee, uh, Marquinhos... I believe it's an 86 rated squad. It's pretty decent, to be fair. He's a CDM. Uh, his stats don't look too bad. Um, you know, you've got medium, high, which is good for a CDM. He's got five stats that are 80 or higher. Uh, pretty good defending. Physical across the board. Stamina's a little bit... Eh, but it, it's not a bad card for about 100 to 120k. I'm not going to do it though, um, but if you've got, you know, even though I've got League 1 squad, he'd probably work quite well, actually alongside Neymar. I might actually have to consider that. I know I said I wouldn't do it, but yeah, he gives a strong link to Neymar and I'm kind of struggling for CDM, so could be a shout. I never thought. Anyhow, uh, player of the month, Bruno Fernandes. Delighted that he won it, fully deserved it, but this card is an absolute ripoff. One million coins. He's got a good chance of getting into team of the year and if that happens, eventually his team of the year card will come down below a million. So... It's just absurd for an untradeable card. As much as I like Bruno, I'm not doing that. It's just too expensive. Um, then, yeah, on to the important stuff, which is the Icon Swaps. So, you can get two Ultimate Packs for two Icon Tokens. You can get uh, 85 times 5 packs, or 585 players or higher. Um, for three tokens, you can get 25, 83 or higher players for five tokens. Nemanja Vidic base for, uh, what is that, seven tokens, I think? Yeah. And he's not a bad card, to be honest. Uh, you know, decent pace for a centre-back. Maybe a little behind the power curve by the time you can get him. But is it uh, his defending and his physical are really, really good. All high 80s or low 90s. So, you know, he, he'll be a pretty good icon to get, especially for that cheap. Uh, base icon pack for eight. Uh, Haji, who's one of those icons that no one cares about, but he's actually quite good. Um, you know, it, it's not bad at all. Medium low, uh, ridiculous stats to be honest uh, for an 89 rated cam. Nine tokens for him. Base or mid icon pack for 10 tokens. Davia Suke, mid. Um, you know, he's got some good stats, but no one's going to get him because he's 86 pace. Like, He's just behind the power curve already in terms of pace. Uh, so 11 tokens. I doubt many people will be getting that one. Mid icon pack for 12 tokens. Ronald Koeman's prime for, um, what is it, 13 tokens? Yeah. I mean, this card, other than the shooting and the passing, which, you know, for a centre back, this is ludicrous. But yeah, shooting is insane. But again, do you really need that in a centre back? The passing, a little bit more so, you know. You might need that, but other than that, it, it's not too dissimilar to, to Vidic's card in terms of the actual defending and physical and pace. It's quite similar, and you can get Vidic for six tokens less. Of course, you could get both. Uh, you know, this comes to the full 18, so you could get Coleman and Vidic, but yeah. Um, I mean, it's a mad card, to be honest. Of course, it's better than Vidic because of the shooting, the passing, the dribbling. Um, but yeah, a lot of that isn't as necessary for a centre-back, but still, mad card. Frank Rijkaard, kind of a boring pick. Um, you know, he usually gets in the first icon swaps or the second. I think this is his prime, um, but again, by the time you can get it, it's probably going to be behind the power curve. You could just get Kante for this. You could probably just get Marcus Lorente, and you'll get the same uh, from it. Medium, medium, 6-2. I, I just feel like this one's a boring choice for me. We get this every single time, really. Uh, mid and prime icon pack for 15. Likelihood is you're probably going to get a mid. This, I like the 89 plus mid icon pack. Uh, it does cut out a lot of the dead wood. I'll probably show it on, um, on Footbin. Of course, there's still a lot of trash you could get, but 
you've got a much better chance of getting one of the good mid-icon packs with that. A base icon player pick, I like the idea, but I feel for 17 tokens, it shouldn't be a base icon pick. So obviously you get three icons and you get to choose one of them. For that, it should be a mid or a prime for 17 tokens. And then Thierry Henry for 17, stay well clear of this. Uh, his prime is really good, but the mid Henry is just not that good. Medium, pardon me, medium, medium. Uh, his balance is shocking. Stamina isn't amazing for a forward. Um, yeah, by the time you can pick this up, which will be early January, it's it's just not worth it. Uh, you know, there's, there's so many cards that are very similar to that. You might as well just get a Martial and play him on the wing, or Ben Yedder, or Griezmann even. Well, then again, Griezmann's quite slow, so maybe not Griezmann. But yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of French wingers off the top of my head. Kingsley Coleman, that uh, objective card that you could have got. It's it's just the players' choice, the players that EA have chosen. I think other than Coleman and Vidic, I can't see many people getting them. Like Haji's a really good card, but no one ever goes for Haji. I never come up against him um, at all. So for me personally, what I'm going to do is kind of boring, really. But I'm going to take these four, um, th these four Vidic, the the two packs I kind of be asked to say it all again but the 83 and the 85 packs and the ultimate packs that comes to 17 tokens uh, so yeah I think that's what I'm gonna get because I don't want to wait until January to get the mid icon pack you can only get eight of the swap tokens right now which I'm sure you're aware of but we'll look on the on the objectives and I'll show you that and the other 10 are available from January the 1st uh, so you can get 18 tokens in total and yeah I feel like other than this, sorry, for 16 tokens, the mid icon or the mid or prime, it's just not worth it, anything else. Like, I, I'm probably just going to get these, these, as I say. Uh, it'll help towards a lot of SBCs. Other icon SBCs, it'll help with the 83 and the 85s. So, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is open these. Uh, I'm going to get all the tokens and open these first. Then... I will get the ultimate and Vidic when the other tokens come out. Uh, and yeah, by then, Vidic will be way behind the power curve. But I just like Vidic. I'm a United fan. Uh, and yeah, there's nothing else I want to spend the tokens on. So yeah, if we go on to the objectives, it's pretty much the same as it was two years ago. We've also got this Balassi card. Five-star skills, three-star weak foot. He's pretty good, but other than linking him to James Rodriguez, who has no pace or Calvert-Lewin, who is way behind the power curve right now. Um, there's not too much to, to link him to, unless you link him to icons. But yeah, I mean, it, it's a decent one to earn. I just hate the fact that they're starting to do this a lot, and it's all the time you've got to play 15 matches at least. You only have to win seven, but you have to score in 15 separate matches, which I think is just a little bit of an overkill, really. Uh, they're steadily increasing it, steadily uh, as we go through the FIFAs, like you would used to be able to get a card like this in four games or six games, but 15, a little bit too excessive there. But anyhow, the icon swaps, again, it's going to take you a long, long time. Each of these, it's the standard Premier League, Serie A, La Liga, Bundesliga, League One, having five first owned from those leagues in your starting squad, then just filling it out with whatever. Um, but yeah, that's going to take you at least 30 games if you win each and every single one, which most of us can't do. Uh, you do get some packs back, but I mean, it's only two rare players and uh, a premium gold players pack. So that's just for scoring though, so it's extras, I suppose. And then you've got the uh, the five squad battles games on world, world class at least with 11 EFL, MLS and Eredivisie players. So, yeah, I mean, you're looking at a minimum of 45 games just for eight tokens. That is insane. And you can, you've only got 21 days to do these. I hate the fact that they split the tokens. What they should do is put them in their own little bracket on objectives, put them there for 50 days or however long Icon Swaps 1 is available for. And I think it's till mid-February and just allow you to play for every single token. So then, if you want to get that Henri, you can get it instead of having to wait until January the 1st for when the other 10 tokens are there, and then you've got to earn those tokens, so you're looking at another week. So, you know, earliest really is January the 8th to get the, the top end stuff. So, yeah, I hate the fact that they split it. I feel like that's wrong. 
but yeah we'll see what we get in this pack anyway so it's not a walkout but it's a it's a champions league card so there could be something decent in uh, this alongside it uh that is carrasco so it's an 82 and that counts as a board though so there could be other stuff there isn't there's a jerome boateng uh pep guardiola too it's probably already untradeable oh no uh, i might as well see if i can get anything for him but yeah with icon swaps, I feel like it's better than previous icon swaps won in FIFA 19 and 18. I think 18 and 19 were the ones to have that. But I feel like it's it's not as good as it could be. So I don't know. I'm teetering again. Like the the negatives are fairly similar to the positives. But yeah, just before I ended off, uh, I did say that. I'm so sorry. I've just realized that there was no audio during that. Wow, I, I clicked the wrong thing for Discord. Sorry, I was showing you the prime icons that you could get that were 89 rated, um, like the mid icons. There's a few here that are good. As I say, like this this first page, you'd probably be happy with anyone other than maybe a Baggio or is there anyone else? I'm not a huge fan of Butel Gueno, but I know a lot of other people are. Same with Maradona. I, I got his prime last year and I just wasn't very good with it. But I mean, most people would be happy with that. And he's valued at 2 million. So, you know, most on this page you'd be happy with. On this page, you'd probably be happy with a Bergkamp, a Schweinsteiger maybe, though he's got, you know, limited pace. And probably Beckham because he's, uh, he's extinct. But other than that, anyone else, you'd probably be a bit annoyed. So you've got around about a 50% chance if you were going to do that mid-prime icon pack, the one that's 89+. plus. Other than that, I, I personally think just go for the first four like I am. But, you know, or Coleman if you want. Coleman and Vidic. Um, but the rest of it, I don't know. It, it it's, it's EA, isn't it? They give you some good, but then some bad. And it's so annoying. Of course, prime icons are now available in packs to get. So hopefully some people can, uh, can find some of them in your packs. But anyhow, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.